Today's video is going to be about the Still Web Monitor. And if any of you have had, you know, a fairly expensive item, maybe you're keeping an eye on, like say maybe the Salgato Stream Deck, you want to buy one of these, but you're waiting to see actually if the price drops at some point, so you know that that's like maybe the right time to buy. So I've been looking at a couple of options for tracking prices, and yes, I know there's a couple that do Amazon, but I'm living in South Africa, and we've got a couple of also quite different online websites that do not necessarily appear in most of these sort of popular browser extensions that keep our eye on these prices. So I found a still, and I've, well, I've looked at a couple of other odds and ends as well, but I seem to be keep coming back to this because this just does the job for me. It's unfortunately not open source, but it is a free tool, and I'll go through some of the pricing options and things just now, but it is free for up to, I think, 20 local such searches from within your browser. But if this is the sort of thing that you're looking for, the still can definitely help you with it. It does a couple of other things as well, but my interest has really been around watching web page price and for changes on that price and then alerting you to it so that you can, you know, go ahead and buy it. We can just have a quick check at the pricing here just to give an idea of why I'm using the web based one that's in the browser. It's actually a browser extension if you look up here. The reason is because the browser extension actually does the searching what the, is what they call locally. And you'll see here for the free tier, oh, it's actually 25, sorry, 25 monit such price monitors you can have running in your browser or five using their cloud service. The cloud service will mean that it could watch 24 by 7 and you could have the mobile app, for example, just alerting you to those price changes. The local search is really running in your browser. So you, you, you know, in my case, I've got the browser running the whole day, so it will alert me any time during the day. And then also the interval times are important to look at. You can set minimum checks of every six hours for the free service, whilst if you go up through the paid tiers, you can do it, you know, down to 10 minutes. And then there's check per month in the cloud, some limitations there as well. So I'm getting by quite happily, actually, with the free tier at the moment, using the browser extension, as I said, to do the checking for me. Uh, certainly, if you're not near a browser most of the time or i think it'll work in your mobile device as well then that's probably an option but if not you know you may have to look at the at the cloud side i certainly think if you're buying some quite expensive items and considering how much saving you can make then maybe even 15 dollars a month isn't bad and i'll show you just now what i mean with that let's just go and have a look at my list this is is my actual list that i have got live and that i'm using and you'll see it's got a couple of categories i've got a bunch of different items and a couple of different online sources that I'm checking. I'm mostly just doing it as a daily check really. But they are sorted in categories here yeah, with these labels. So you could see I could look at, well I've got electronics here, I've got some ammunition prices I'm looking at, um, some shaving items like shaving. These are things I don't buy necessarily very often. but. If the price drops, then I want to maybe go buy one. For example, I did go and buy these shaving brushes. I bought two of them when I saw the price dropped. And then I've got things like Oral-B toothbrush heads that, you know, also quite expensive. Uh, what is this? $20? I'm not sure. $20, $30? $20 or so. But the point is, you know, if, if these prices drop by 20, 30, 40%, then I want to go buy some of two or three of them. Um, and we can have a look, maybe say whiskey is the same thing. I don't buy whiskey all the time, but if it's a bargain, then I want to pick it up and buy it. So we can have a look here, for example, at this Three Ships whiskey. This is a South African brand. By the way, not a very bad whiskey at all. Very similar to the Chivas Regal. But Take A Lot's one of our online sites. And if you click on the price over there, it's at the moment 219 Rand. But you'll see here, look here, August. It had dropped suddenly to 179 Rand. So that, that's quite a, a fair drop. And of course, then I went and ordered two bottles. So, you know, it's that type of thing you can do for it. And of course, also, the longer you keep this running, the more you can also go and check the history of the prices as they've dropped. You can click there on show more to go draw back further as well. So I can show you also then just how to add a monitor. What I also like with this is it's, it's fairly easy. There's nothing technical. There's no code and other things you have to do. You can tweak a few things if you want to, but there's really no need to do it very often. So let's just go back to this example, say, of the Agato Stream Deck. If I want to add this price monitor, there's obviously the price we're looking at there. If I want to add the price, 
I can go up to the extension over there. I click on it and I'm, I've already got the selected monitor parts of a page. You click on that. This section opens up at the bottom. It's already ready to select elements. You'll see it's got a little pause button there, meaning it's, it's already waiting for me at the moment to click. And all you do is you go over the price and you'll see there you can select different parts of the price, for example, as well. I can there select, I think, move around you can select the whole price but I can also just take that part of the price you'll see it's showed $149 over there in numeric characters and it's selected if you've made a mistake you can click here on the red and you can just go back and you can reselect sure if I can get the I was trying to see if I could collect the whole price but anyway you can also select additional items to watch like you know say that 99 cents that won't make much sense really but it may be something that says out of stock or something like that you can click on that and have that as a monitor as well if you want to so whenever it changes it's going to notify you okay so i've selected that all i now really do is click save selections i should just say there is some more advanced options here like i said regex filters and other things you can adjust you can also choose different types of selection over here but the standard is actually good enough as long as it's showing you the number over there you'll know okay it is selected you just say save selections and now it is defaulting to this device check I see you can also say if you've got more than one browser where the extension is installed I can choose any local device the name it's obviously given the full name but you can shorten that here and just so you know what it is you don't need to have the whole long text description or you can give it any name just type in whatever you want you can change the interval to whatever it needs to be how often it's going to check what do you want well by default it's got a pop-up notification for the local monitor in other words in the browser or it defaults to play a buzzer sound but you can change you know different sounds that'll just be the sound it plays when it pops up there's a couple of other conditions here you can set conditions like choosing the text not contains but say it has a number wait a minute uh, let me just check quickly has a number in other words it was on 149 dollars so i could set it has a number when it's lower than 135. in other words because i've set a condition now it's only going to notify me and it won't notify me if the price goes up or changes but if the price changes and it ends up being less than $135, then notify me. And of course, I can click here as well just to select any existing label that I've got already over there. And save. And that's it. You'll see there it's appeared at the bottom. And it says it'll give a preview of the price here after the task has run. It's waiting at the moment. I think I can say to it there, check for changes. and it'll do its thing and it's done the check over there and you'll see it's returned back the 149 over here so at the moment it's set at 149 dollars and it's going to now notify us whenever that price changes up or down if you haven't got that condition set and that really is about it one other tip i just want to show as well though is you may find that a page gives you an error and it's going to show up usually if you see over here where the time of the last check is or the price of the lot the time of the last change it will show also if there's sometimes an error here and you can check the log and so on but often it it relates to it'll say an empty field which means something has changed on that page and it's no longer finding whatever you'd actually set it for to watch then what you can actually do the easy way to change that is to just go to the item on the little down arrow here click on the edit options and you'll see here where it's got open web page selector all you do is you click literally on that source over there it's going to open the page it shows the thing that you'd last selected the monitor but remember now it might be out of sync and it's not choosing there what I then do is do is I delete that selection and I click over there you'll see it's got the little play button click on the select elements again Go and choose your element 
once again, you'll see it's got the 149 there, so it's picked it up, and you click Save Selections, and that's it. That should do it. Oh, and then just save it down here again. That should do it to reset it if it loses track of it. But as I said, I just found this thing really useful. I have looked at a few other options, but as I said, my problem was they either were only for a couple of big US sites. This covered basically absolutely anything I want to watch. And remember, you can use this also to watch anything, Apple Play Store specials or anything, you know, that where something suddenly gets announced and you're not always going to be aware of it. It's perfect for that sort of thing. And then the other problem I had is I tried also to look for open source apps and so on. First of all, there aren't, don't seem to be many of them. I found one, but then it seemed to be pay only, even though it was open source, supposedly. And some of the others had some really drastic limitations, like only five items at a time or so. I mean, 25 is fairly usable, to be honest. You can probably work with this. And if you do find that, you know, as I said, you're making enough savings out of this, then it's probably worth looking at paying for it. The advantage, as I said, again, of the cloud service is it'll work 24 by 7. You don't need to have your browser open. We can just quickly have a look also at what, what it is running on. Uh, desktop apps, if you've got Windows or Mac, it'll actually run the desktop application, which will then re not require the browser. You could use that also. It can be running, you know, if you keep your machine on, it's going to notify you. It does cover all the major browsers as well, the extension, that's quite handy. And then, of course, there are the two apps as well, which you can view updates and get push notifications to your application as well. And as I said, yeah, there are a couple of other things it does as well, but I'm really just using it for price monitoring. I just find this incredibly useful, and I've been using it now probably a good two years plus or so already, and I thought I'd just like to share that with everybody. I hope that was of interest to some of you, and I hope you can make some great savings by making use of something like this. And if you do have a better suggestion for me, if there's really something better that handles a variety of sites, maybe more monitors that it can run at a particular time or something, leave a comment then below the video and I'll have a look at it and see maybe if it's worth me switching. But that's otherwise it. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in my next video.